Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who's liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. And as a way of saying thank you, I'm thinking of going live on the... 30th or the 31st of this December so it's to answer you know very quick quick questions uh, we could you know pull a few cards to answer your questions um, yes or no questions you know things like that like a live Q&A but let me know if it's a good idea or if you have other suggestions you can comment you can comment down below for some reason, my I can't talk clearly. You have the Knight of Cups as your overall energy. Pisces. You have the Eight of Cups. The Five of Swords. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Alright. Okay. You're moving away moving away from very selfish energy I'm getting that i love it you're stepping into that new new phase a very new phase why are all water signs so guarded right now like there's a new love coming towards my water signs and i keep getting the nine of wands for every for every water sign so very closed off very guarded very well we've gone through <clears throat> we've gone through a lot in 2021 i'm getting so <clears throat> yes i get why we're all guarded you have the Knight of Cups as your overall energy. Someone taking action towards you. Someone who knows that you are the one for this person. You are the one for this person. This person has a lot of love for you. You could be dealing with another another water. Oh, why is it I can't say my words right? You could be dealing with another water sign or someone who has a lot of water placements. But this is someone or has that energy. But this is someone who knows that you deserve this offer. This is someone very serious. Very serious to come towards you. Alright? This is someone from your past. You've walked away from this connection. You've walked away from this connection. Why? Because... They might be in a higher level of commitment. But what I'm getting is this is someone wanting to come back towards you. I'm getting both energies in the ver reverse now. I mean both cards in the reversed energies now. This is someone who cannot, cannot forget you. Cannot walk away from you. This is someone who must have walked away from another situation. Someone they were in a higher level of form of commitment. This is someone they could be married to. They walked away from. Why? Because, you know, the thing is, I don't know why my guys are letting me, wanting me to tell you this, but sometimes we just, it's hard to pretend. That's what they're trying to tell me. It's hard to pretend that you don't love someone. It's hard to pretend that you've forgotten someone or you're trying to forget someone when you can't. It's hard to pretend. right? And this person has been pretending for the last four to eight months to th this person that they are committed to. That they are over you. But the truth is, this is someone, the truth is out, all right? The truth is out. This is someone who can no longer pretend 
that they don't need you, that they don't want you in their life. This is someone who can't be without you. And they're coming back. They're coming back. This was someone who was very selfish in the past. This was someone who's very selfish in the past, didn't, was trying to figure out a way that they can have both worlds. So they cannot commit. This is someone who cannot commit before, all right, before. But they realized that that was very selfish of them. They realized that they cannot keep acting that way. Because I'm getting you very much know what you deserve, Pisces. And you walked away from the situation. So I'm getting two energies with the Ace of Pentacles. Two of the Nine of Wands. If this is from your past, this is someone who wants to come towards you with a solid and stable offer. But for some, it's really new energy coming towards you. This is someone who does want to have, does want to offer you something stable. Could be from the past, could be someone new. Again, could be from the past, could be someone new. But you're very guarded. Very, very guarded. This is the hand of the universe. This is the universe stepping in for you. This is the universe telling you, hey, this is the offer that we're giving you. All right. Take it. I'm getting take it. It's weird like how this, the nine of wands guy person is looking up to the ace of pentacles. So kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. I'm getting you're going to get a wake up from the universe that, hey, this is the offer that we're giving you. Take it now. Let's see the overall outcome of this reading. Okay, you have two. Two cards. All right, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands to the Page of Swords. All right. Okay, what I'm getting here is the overall outcome is really nice. This is someone who will fight for you. This is someone who will fight for you. You have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting the energy that the person that you're dealing with is seeing to settle down with you. The right way, the legal way, I'm getting that. But someone who wants to settle down with you, wants to build a home with you. But settling down energy. They see you as someone that they could have a home with or start a home with all right this is someone who will fight for you very much will fight for you and you know they're just currently they're just watching in the background they're seeing if you're still available pisces they're seeing if you're still available or if you're in a new relationship you know because i'm getting this has happened whatever that situation it happened Four months to eight months ago. So yeah. What is the advice for my Pisces? All right. <clears throat> Pisces, the advice of spirit for you is the sun. The two of wands and then the eight of wands. All right, there's communication coming towards you and what spirit is telling you is to give them clarity, to give them the truth of 
about what you feel. Don't be undecided whether or not you want to tell this person how you truly feel, whether or not you still love this person or not, all right? But give them the truth. Give them the clarity that they need. Whether or not they should move on from you, whether or not um, they have another chance with you, give them that clarity. Don't leave them hanging, all right? Don't, don't leave them hanging, okay? That is advice of spirit for you. Very clear. Very clear advice. Other messages, please. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Oh my God. You have this, the sunflower purification. Purification. All right. And then you have enlightenment. It has to do with the sun card. There's enlightenment coming towards you. You have wisdom. And then you have miracles. A lot of miracles are showing up. A lot of miracles are showing up. All right. So yeah, that's all I have for you, Pisces. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section down below. Leave a comment in the comment section down below how it resonated for you. And I'll see you in the next reading. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.